Shout out to Jimmy Johnson. He finished the Boston Marathon in three hours, nine minutes, and seven seconds. Um, but yeah, what a what an accomplishment for him personally. He's an athlete, pure athlete. Uh, he wanted to accomplish that. He wanted to run a marathon. He ran the he ran the Boston Marathon, which is a huge marathon, and uh, he completed it. Ran all 26.2 miles. He did it in three hours, nine minutes, seven seconds, as I said, after running 300 miles at Richmond, 400 laps. Um, but yeah, huge accomplishment, 326.2 miles this weekend. Uh, congratulations to Jimmy Johnson. So today we're going to go over uh, just the, it's been a quarter of the season, 9 out of 36 races so far. I'm so sorry if I look over here. I'm used to the camera being over here, the little looker at her, but it's actually over here now because I have to use my laptop, which usually holds my camera phone thingy. So I'm... If I look that way, I'm rather looking at the laptop with all the data or I'm looking at the wrong thing, so bear with me. But anyways, we're going to go over some statistics and then some point standings and wins and all that stuff. So what we got here is wins, average start, average mid-race, average finish, uh, average position, uh, pass differential, green flag passes, green flag passed, quality passes, percent of quality passes. We'll skip over some of them, like... But we're going to go over a lot of them. So wins, uh, top fives, top tens, uh, a lot of fun stuff. Average start, average finish, uh, and then the point standings eventually. So it's been a quarter of the season, 9 out of 36 races. We've seen different tracks. We've seen Daytona, Restricted Plate. We've seen Martinsville, Bristol, Richmond, which are three different short tracks. We've seen mile and a half like Atlanta, Texas, Vegas, and then we've seen Phoenix. And I think that's nine. I might have missed one, but anyways, so here we go. So the wins, Kyle Busch with three, that is the most in the series. Uh, Denny Hamlin with two, that is second most. And then we got Brad Keselowski with two wins. Um, Joey Logano with a win and Martin Truex Jr. with a win. So only two total teams, Team Penske and Mart or uh, Team Penske and Joe Gibbs Racing have won. And then we have five different winners. Yay, five different winners in nine races. So. That's all your winners. That's a short list. Average start. No. Yes, that is what I want. The highest average start is by Denny Hamlin, 7.9. Kevin Harvick with an 8.1. I'm going in order from best to worst. Um, Joey Logano with an 8.6. Kyle Busch with a 10.9. Austin Dillon, 11.4. Chase Elliott, 11.7. Eric Almarola, 12.3. Ricky Stenhouse Jr., 13. Boyer 13.1, Byron 13.1, Blaney 13.2, Johnson 13.2, Minard 13.8, Bowman 13.8, Keselowski 14, Truex 15, Larson 15.6, Jones 17.4, Newman 17.7, Kurt Busch 18.1, uh, Suarez 18.2, Hemrick 18.7, uh, Dylan, Ty Dylan, and then Chris Busher both have 19. David Reagan with 21.2, Matt DiBenedetto 21.3, Michael McDowell 21.3, Bubba Wallace 21.9, Ryan Priest 22.8, Corey LaJoy 28.4, Landon Castle 30.1, Matt Tiff 31.8, Greg Galding 33, Ross Chastain 33.4, BJ McLeod 35.8, Garrett Smithley 36.7, and then Joey Gase and Timmy Hill at 37, Tyler Reich at 39. So this is obviously everyone, like everyone in the Cup Series I'm naming off here, uh, their stats, just so no one, obviously, that uh, I name all the drivers, so for those of you curious, it's a whole stats page I have pulled up for all these drivers, all these numbers and stuff, so um, just in case you didn't want to have to go find it and read it, you can find it here, you got it here, you can listen to it here, right here, booyah. Um, we will skip average mid-race and go to average finish. Average finish, Kyle Busch is the highest with a 3.9, Denny Hamlin with a 5.6, Kevin Harvick with an 8.7. Kurt Busch with an 8.9. We talked about him. And if he's the most underrated driver, you need to go check out that video after this one. Uh, Kurt Busch with an 8.9, as I said. Joey Logano with a 9th. Uh, Truex with a 10.3. Keselowski, 11. Boyer, 12th, 11.9. Um, Elliott, 12.3. Johnson, 14.2. Dylan, 14.8. Suarez, 15. Almirola, 15.1. Newman, 15.2. Jones, 15.9. Menard 16.1, Byron 16.7, Blaney 17, Stenhouse 17.1, Larson 18, Bowman 18.3, Ty Dillon 19.1, Busher 20.1, DiBenedetto 22.6, Benedetto 
Priest 23.1, Reagan 24.9, Wallace 25.6, uh, Hemrick 26.3, McDowell 26.9, nice. Reddick 27, Chastain 27.9, LaJoy 28, Tiff 28.1, Castle 30.1, McLeod 31.2, Smithley 34.7, Gase 35.3, Galding 36, Hill 36.5. Something I found interesting about this is like Ryan Blaney, for example. 17th place average finish. He is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. He is 18th down on that list for average finish, but he is one of the top five, maybe even top three for laps led. So as we see later on in this video, um, it fluctuates. So guys could lead a lot of laps, but their their average finish isn't that good. Um, stage, whoo, that is loud out there. Woo, lawn mowers. Um... We'll go to green flag passes. Wow, this is surprising. Green flag passes. Daniel Suarez is the top one with 1,002 passes. Chase Elliott with 960. Uh, Larson, 914. Jones, 898. Di Benedetto, 877. Hamlin, 866. Logano, 844. Boyer, 842. Johnson, 832. Menard, 824. Almirola, 822. Stenhouse, 817. Hemrick, 812. Bowman 803, Byron 800, Newman 796, Kyle Busch 793. Uh, he just got so, such a high average start that it kind of butchers his green flag passes. Uh, Kurt Busch 798, or 782, my bad. Uh, Keselowski 766, Busher 766, Ty Dillon 765, uh, Blaney 747. Uh, Dylan 746, Priest 733, Truex 728, Reagan 722, Harvick 710, McDowell 610, 616, my bad, uh, Wallace 528, Tift 489, LaJoy 369, nice, uh, Castle 323, Reddick 309, Chastain 273, McLeod 111, Smithley 25, Galding 18, Gase 16, Timmy Hill 12. Man, this is a lot of numbers and words. Uh, let's see. I don't want to read through past. Um, fastest laps. Do we want to do that? Sure, let's go fast. Oh, oh, that means like every lap of every season. All right. We will next go to lap sled. Lap sled. Kozlowski 609. He has the most lap sled this season. Um, Kyle Busch 599, Blaney 353. We talked about that earlier, how he has one of the mid of the points or whatever of the list on average finish, but he is third in most laps led with 353. Logano 333, Truex 200, Harvick 163, Larson 142, Elliott 122, Hamlin 97. So one, two, three. Four guys above Hamlin, and Hamlin has two wins. How about that? Uh, Byron with 83. Almirola with 72. Johnson, 64. DiBurrito, 49. Jones, 40. Boyer, 27. Kurt Busch, 24. Stenhouse, 23. Suarez, 20, 21. Dylan, 7. Ty Dylan, 6. Uh, Hemrick, 5. McDowell, 2. Everyone else has 0. And some of the significant names on that zero list, Ryan Newman, Paul Menard, Alex Bowman, and Timmy Hill. Timmy Hill is not let a lot this year. That's, um, that makes me sad. All right. Points. Well, actually, yeah, points. Point standings. Before we do points, we're going to do stage ones real quick. Uh, um, Kyle Busch with five. Lugano with four. Harvick with two. Keselowski with two. Blaney with two, Larson with one, Hamlin with one, Ty Dillon with one. Yep, Ty Dillon. Woo! Yeehaw. Uh, point standings, we'll go with that right now. Uh, Kyle Busch has the points lead. He has a 20-point lead over Joey Logano, then Denny Hamlin, Kevin Harvick, Brad Keselowski, Mark Truex Jr., Kurt Busch, Clint Boyer, Ryan Blaney, Chase Elliott, Eric Almirola, Daniel Suarez, Jimmy Johnson, Austin Dillon, Ryan Newman, Paul Menard. Those are your top 16. Those are your guys in the playoffs a quarter of the way through the season. Remember that. Uh, if I do this again for the halfway point in the third quarter and then obviously the finale. 
Um, so those are your 16. Outside of the playoffs, one point outside the playoffs is Eric Jones. Five points out, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Here's a big surpriser. Uh, nine points out is Kyle Larson. Uh, 15 points out, William Byron. Then you got Alex Bowman, Ty Dillon, Chris Buescher, D. Burrito, Ryan Priest, Bubba Wallace, David Reagan, Daniel Hemrick, Michael McDowell, Corey LaJoy, Matt Tift, Landon Castle, Jamie McMurray, Cody Ware, Quinn Howe, I don't know how to pronounce his name, Reed Sorson, and 37th with one point, Casey Mears. So yeah, there's there's your points. Um, wins. You gotta go through top fives and top tens now. Can't leave this list uncomplete. Top fives, short list. Kyle Bush with six, Denny Hamlin with six, Logano with five, Harvick with four, Keslowski with four, Blaney with four, Truex with three, Kurt Bush with three, Boyer with three, uh Jones with two, Elliott, Almarola, Suarez, Johnson, McDowell all have one. Everyone else has zero. Top tens. This is a longer list. Bush with nine, Hamlin with eight. Harvick with seven, Logano six, Truex six, Kurt Busch six, Almirola six, Keselowski five, Boyer five, uh, Blaney, Suarez, Johnson all have four, Jones with three, Elliott with two, Dylan with two, Newman, Menard, Larson have two, and then with one top ten, McDowell, Stenhouse, Byron, Dylan, Busher, Priest. That's it. Uh, you just heard everything. You heard points, wins, top fives, top tens, lap sled, stage wins, uh, passes, average start, average finish. You just heard a bunch of numbers. Uh, if you want things like average mid-race, average position, pass differential, green flag uh, passed, quality passes, percent quality passes, fastest laps, top 15, laps in the top 15 percentage, percent of lap sled, Total laps, driver rating. I'll put that link in the description. Because it's like, that would have been a 30 minute video if I had to read all that. I just gave the stuff that I thought you guys would want. Like the most talked about stuff. So laps, like top fives, top tens, passes. Uh, so I went ahead and put that in there. And then obviously the point standing. It's been a quarter of the season. It's been a solid quarter so far. Can't wait to see what the next quarter and then the rest of the season has to hold. But thank you for watching this video. I know it wasn't really me analyze, analyzing or talking. Like I normally do, it's just me giving stats, but this was for you, all of you who like listening more than reading. And if you want the reading version, I can put it in the description, which I will. Thank you for watching.